Recently Keith was announced as a performer at Hibfest in Naperville, Illinois. After that announcement many of Naperville residents slammed the organizers on social media for bringing Toby to their town, with an argument that he is too political. Keith is nowhere near political activists such as the Dixie Chicks. He didn't even really stand behind anyone during the election. However, since he did play at the inauguration, voices are now rising against Keith just as they are against Trump. Toby Keith does not apologize for performing for our country or military. The June 30th event, which is a festival and ribfest, also heard the news that Keith's lyrics were too inappropriate. The protesters didn't say which lyrics, but it's not like these songs are new, so this sounds like a bogus excuse. In the current political climate, it seemed overtly polarizing and political, said Naperville resident Amy Kakuri. Similarly, the Ribfest Facebook page said no artists were booked based on their political beliefs or actions, which wouldn't be true if they dropped Keith. It all escalated when Ari Fleischer, a one-time White House press secretary for former President George W. Bush, weighed in to defend Toby Keith and his supporters. This ticks me off. Conservatives put up W liberal claptrap from Hollywood and Broadway. Now one patriotic country singer is subject to this. Fleischer tweeted. How many times have conservatives watched the Academy Awards and been treated to overly liberal political positions, but we still watch the movies and go to the shows, Fleischer said in a phone interview. Now here's one small instance where a musician who is known for his patriotic songs has to put up with this. Despite Keith's quote prior to the election, once Donald Trump was voted in by the American people, he stood behind his president and his country. This is something we all should do, despite who lives within the White House. Toby Keith, of course, isn't the only celebrity to find himself on one side or the other. Luckily, the committee decided not to cancel Keith despite these protests. Toby Keith is an American singer, songwriter, actor and record producer. Keith released his first four studio albums, 1993's Toby Keith, 1994's Boomtown, 1996's Blue Moon and 1997's Dream Walkin', plus a greatest hits package for various divisions of Mercury Records before leaving Mercury in 1998. These albums all earned gold or higher certification, and produced several chart singles, including his debut Should Have Been a Cowboy, which topped the country charts and was the most played country song of the 1990s.